welcome Leo. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Soul Truth Self Awareness Oracle Cards. Oh, card deck, sorry. Um, Oracle of the Seven Energies and Osho is in Tarot. Okay, Leo, let's have a look. <clears throat> Three cards for Leo, please. I don't like how that came out. What is going on? What is going on? First one, yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so. Okay, so this first card here. When was the last what was it? The last time I couldn't stop smiling or laughing. Go back to a moment when you laughed so hard you almost peed your pants or did. Feel the laughter grow in your body, your cheeks hurting and your eyes watering. Maybe there was even a snort or two. <laughs> laughter is healing. It reminds us to take life less seriously and find the joy in the littlest things. Note to self, laugh more often. Okay, so today's soul action. Make somebody laugh today. Okay, just don't tell dad jokes. Okay, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> nah. Okay, so the next card here is what can I burn and am I willing? Okay, so we will get to those. But first, when was the last time I couldn't stop laughing? Real interesting because I'm like, what what more do we really need to know about this card, you know? Unless some of you, wow, that went flying. Unless some of you, <laughs> I feel like that card is quite significant the way it went. Not just flying over there, but it actually, when it, when it went, it would have been off camera. And it kind of like went like, you know, like a feather, like floating down like that interesting way for it to fall okay one more card for the smiling the laughing and and the thing is that smiling and laughing increases your dopamine levels right so it's important to do okay so the card that went flitting across the room a deep breath a deep breath take a nice deep breath in I feel like for some of you there's meditation that is needed here to really connect in deep breath every day of the week i'm seeing the number seven is jumping out of me and i feel like every day every day you need to remind yourself to take a deep breath in in through the nose and out through the mouth you know and kind of like do it very mindfully okay and there's like this this helps to ground you it helps to get you into alignment to center yourself okay um and and imagine when you're breathing in breathing in beautiful white light and when you're releasing the breath breathe out everything that is weighing on you that is not serving you that you feel like you want to get let go of even if you make noise of <sighs> when you're breathing out right just letting go of the stress that you don't need to carry okay and the next card here is tender embrace look at that how beautiful tender embrace <laughs> and we have exposed and revealed interesting the tender embrace here and this is the number 22 and so i feel like there's this this sort of match of energies in a sense yeah anyway okay so sorry leo getting distracted here okay a deep breath give me two cards for a deep breath here mm. it's on the floor again okay interestingly enough this is also the number seven so i feel like this is quite significant for some of you um, this is this sort of external battle going on um, and this projections of um, 
there's an energetic pro projection here I feel uh I get a sense of some sort of disassociation between yourself and someone else. Um, a kind of a distance, or at least, okay, what is this about? What is this about? It's kind of like there's been, there needs to be more coming together with other people for you, Leo, in a way that is light-hearted. The projections, I feel like either from yourself or other people, or potentially both, need to be let go of, okay? And this is where a deep breath comes in. Every time you feel like there has been something triggered within you, an emotion that has been triggered within you, rather than projecting that onto someone else, take a deep breath, okay? And allow that to settle. And even store it away for a little bit later for you to work through, rather than putting that onto someone else. And you will notice a huge transformation in your life because you have the tools to do this you have everything you need to transform a situation it's actually just learning to utilize the tools in the healthiest way possible okay and then we have a tender embrace a tender embrace There's something here, this, it's reminding me of the elephants. Um, I know that there's a meaning in, um, I think it's Thailand. They have a particular meaning when the elephant's trunk is up and when it's down. But with both these elephants, one of, the, one of it is up and one of the trunks is down, right? And, and one of... One of them being up is about manifesting and bringing an abundance into your life and the other one when it's down or vice versa. I can't quite remember which is which. Um, but the other one is, you know, bringing peace and harmony into your life. And it's really interesting because these two balance each other out just perfectly. That's really nice. Okay, so tell me more. Tell me more about Tender Embrace. I don't know how those come out. Tender Embrace for Leo, please. Tell me more about this. Okay, we've got two cards come out together. Wow, this is a clean slate here. This is this is the thing, right, of this Tender Embrace. When they are in this uh, energy together, nothing else matters. It is only them together here. Okay, it is about stepping into this energy here, I feel, Leo. Okay, stepping into, um, stepping out of all this mind stuff, right? And stepping into this, this energy of the heart, the energy of the no-thingness where nothing resides but everything does, right? Stepping into that. So that you can break these chains that hold you back. Sometimes I feel, Leo, that you put these chains around you. And they're weighing you down. That could be the case for some of you. It's very interesting because I have never got this before. Because it's like you want to rise up. It's like you want to rise up like the phoenix out of the ashes, right? But there's something that keeps the chains on your feet holding you down. It's really interesting and I wonder 
if for some of you, you feel as though it could be someone else. But in fact, it's not. It's actually you. And so it's going into why. Why is it that those... Even, because look here, the chains are broken. The chains are broken, and yet he remains. He has not elevated. So why? Looking at that for yourself, however that applies in your life, right? Why? Is it potentially the case that this embrace will allow you to rise up? Right? The eagle is right here. The eagle is right here encouraging him to say, hey, follow me, come. And he remains oblivious to the eagle's presence, oblivious to the power, to the wisdom that the, the eagle possesses. There's some sort of skin that you are holding on to. It's like a, sh a snake shedding its skin, but not letting go of the old skin. Interesting, Leo. Interesting. Exposed and revealed. Is this, a, is this what you're afraid of? Are you afraid of actually being seen? Are you afraid of exposing, of, of feeling exposed? Hmm. Is that the case? Anyway, gosh, we're so far in already and I'm only just getting through this. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm going to pick this card up off the floor. <laughs> yeah, look. This, there's the suit of armour on, right? There's a fear within you that if you take your armour off, things are going to turn to custard. Um, or potentially someone's going to see who you truly are and you don't want that to be seen. I wonder if there's something about yourself that you're actually afraid of revealing. Not even about yourself, but just who you are. But I don't think you understand the energy. That it's about the energy. That That is all about ego. Right? And when you're dealing with energy, the ego doesn't exist. So it really doesn't matter. Okay, we have morality here. This is you keeping yourself caged, hands tied, and just sort of like not allowing this, this beginning to actually transpire. Um, this reminds me of Gemini's reading, actually. Was it their last reading? Could have been. Or the reading before one or the other. Go and check that out. Because if you have Gemini in your chart or you're dealing with a Gemini, it would be really good for you to look at that. Anyway, what can I burn? <clears throat> what can I burn? Leo, burn it. Burn it all. The ugly lies. The pain. The shame. The criticism, the images that run through your head, the reminders of what you did wrong and the proof that you are not enough. Burn, baby, burn. Your soul is calling. It's time for a rebirth. You are like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Yeah, see, like this card here, right? No longer attached to the past. You are free. Your wings are ready. Use them. Okay, so today's soul action. Make the choice that you will no longer let the past define you. Define you. Pick up your pen. What will your next chapter look like? I love this. So there's a whole new chapter that you can, you can write. Okay, and what's really important here, Leo, is for you to look at because I have the feeling that for some of you, you're going to look at the things that are easy for you and the things 
um, and, and all the things that are very difficult for you, you're going to be like, oh yeah, I'll just to put them in another chapter. I'll save that for another day. But the things that are difficult for you are the things you need to write about. The things that you need to add into your chapter. Okay. Okay, what can I burn? Tell me more about this for Leo, please. On the floor again, Leo. And again, it's just all happening on the floor today. Okay. Okay, so the first card here. Wish upon a star, Leo. Wish upon a star. And what I want to say here about this is that this is wishing upon a star in all aspects, not just one again, okay? Not just focusing on the one that, oh, I know that's going to happen, so I'll just look at that because I know it's a possibility. Again, look at all everything, especially the thing that you find difficult or you find hard, okay? Or you maybe don't quite trust in, okay? Wish upon a star. What would that look like here? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you let go and you truly open yourself up to receive what it is that you want, Leo, you will have success, right? You will rise up. You will rise up. The ashes won't even be visible anymore. Okay, the only thing I'd say about this, Leo, is not to be too cocky about it. Okay, still stay humble, stay grounded as much as possible. And, and I would make a conscious effort to do that. Okay, um, but when you burn all the things that do not serve you, this is what you have the ability to create in your life here. Okay, you allow all your wishes to come true and then some, right? So we have here opening to discovery. Oh, wow, opening to discovery. Look at this keyhole with the key here. So I feel like what this is saying for you is that you can see the vision, you can see what it is that you want. The key is there. It's actually a matter of putting the key into the keyhole and turning it to open that door. And there's some stuff here that is holding you back. You see, the thing, Leo, is that you, you know, in order to have our whole life work for us, we need to be open to the entirety of that, not just one aspect or another aspect. It has to be the whole. It has to be the whole. You can't have an orchard of trees with only one tree. If you want to um, harvest the fruits of your labor to last a lifetime you have to plant an orchard you can't plant just one tree and it's the same with your life if you want your life to be fulfilling it has to be in every aspect rather than just one because you're going to feel you're going to feel the gap you're going to feel the emptiness you're going to feel that something's missing there okay You're going to feel alone. I feel like this is actually you locking the gate, putting the pad. See, this is the chain. This is the chain that you've put on and padlocked on. It's time to unlock the padlock. This is what this is about, unlocking the padlock in order to release the chain that stopped all your dreams coming true that stop everything from coming to fruition for you here yeah it is time wow leo okay what's the spirit of gratitude look at this beautiful look at this this is this right this is you sitting in the middle of this flower of life here this is your flower of life this is you in it 
right? And regardless of your gender, this is the energy of you rising up. You rising up, spirit of gratitude, being grateful for everything that you have been given. This is this is this mind stuff here, because the thing is, this is what I was saying before about you know you, you can master something in one area of your life, and this say like in your mind, in your thought process, in your mindset, right? You could be thinking very positively, say about um, uh, a job, for example. Okay, thinking positively, manifesting it, yes, it's going to come true, I'm going to get what I want and then I'll be happy and then I'll work on this other thing and then I'll work on that other thing. Um, and so it's only in that aspect that you're thinking positively and then in, in maybe um, finances, it's negative, relationships, it's negative um, and anything else in your life is not so positive because you're focused so much solely on the job aspect, right? But the thing is, in order for that to be an overall picture, you have to focus on everything because you can't close yourself off to all these other things and expect this one thing to actually work for you. It doesn't happen like that. It, it can't. Not energetically. It cannot. Okay. Yeah. See? In order to bring everything in, and connect it all up. You can't do that. See, all these people here are representing one of these things in your life. One of that is a job. Okay, how is everything meant to join forces when you're only focused on one here, Leo? Yeah? Yeah. Right? You can't just plant one, one flower and expect a field to grow. And this is fear. This is being afraid of, of, of crashing and burning. <laughs> of things crashing and burning and being ruined. And it's sort of like there's the sense of wanting to preserve stuff so that you can focus on it one at a time because if I don't, then everything could go wrong because it's too much. But that's a control thing. So that is something that you need to work on. Yeah? And not project out, okay? Let go of those chains. Chains, stop fighting yourself. Stop keeping yourself tight. Yeah? Am I willing? Am I willing? Are you on the edge of something great? Can you feel it? Yes, there is risk, uncertainty, and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain, and vulnerability is a requirement. You must be brave. And trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. Today's self action be brave, follow your heart's compass, and lift the lid on your own dreams. Today's mantra it's possible. It's possible. It's a possible to have it all it is possible to have it all okay let's look further into this here Leo. on the table loving it thank you thank you okay hang out like that imperfect harmony in perfect harmony. This reminds me of this, right? A deep breath, a deep breath. Taking that breath in almost together, like breathing in this energy here so that the music can flow in perfect harmony, right? And then that fear of being exposed and revealed, it's not even going to come into play anymore. It is not going to come into play. Yeah. It's going to allow you to take this box off your head, Leo, and let this new beginning come in. Right? Because this is a divinely orchestrated 
I, I want to say new beginning, but it's so much more than that because it feels like it, it feels like actually stepping through a portal into a whole nother world. And in that world is not just one new beginning. It's, it's heaps of new beginnings. It's really letting go. It is really letting go. There's, there's a box that you place over your head and you pretend like it's okay. But actually, if you were honest with yourself, what is inside that box is darkness. But the darkness is actually a beautiful thing because you can shine the light on it. You can shine the light on it to create a whole new story. Feeling the world. Look at this. Yes, beautiful. Feeling the world. Right? This is coming into this heart space here. Understanding you have the world in your hands. And feeling that. Coming out of this and into this. Tell me more about feeling the world, Leo. Seeing the possibilities here, I feel. Yeah, look at this. Silence and aloneness. Letting your heart lead. Letting your heart lead the way. Allowing that wisdom within because you, it's there. It is there and I think for some of you, this box is being placed over your head so that you don't, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm not, not, I'm putting this box over my head because this is what I'm going to do. This is what I see. And it's not that you can't do that. But in order for that to happen, everything else needs to be embraced. Everything. Close encounters. Close encounters. Look at that. This is putting an ending to remaining in the cage. Or holding someone else in the cage. Allowing this transformation to happen. Yeah? Actually allowing it to happen. To come out of the cage. To join the other here. And, you, and then, you know, the thing is that then there's this opportunity for both to fly right the energy remains locked in but both can fly two cards for close encounters please that's beautiful that's really really beautiful okay what are these ones past lives yeah this is from past life yeah this this experiencing right and I feel like this is to do with feeling the world too. Really becoming one, becoming one with the experience, opening up to allow it through. Because this is so much more here, Leo, than what you could possibly imagine. This is something, this this beginning, which seems so like I feel like I'm downplaying it by saying this new beginning. This is so much more than that. This is something that has come through from not just one past life, but many. It's, it's a generational thing. This is part of this generational healing. This is part of you representing, representing yourself, representing yourself as the ancestors. As the ancestor, you are the ancestors, right? We are. I'm sure that's come up in one of your readings before. So this is actually you stepping into that now, yeah? And experiencing it, not just doing it, but actually experiencing it. Every slight movement, 
every emotion with all of your senses, including your intuition, right, and your instincts. Experiencing it with all seven senses. Because the ancestors are right there with you, backing you in proceeding forward with this. Okay? But it's up to you, Leo. It is up to you to unlock the chains. Unlock the chains in every aspect of your life. Not just one. Okay? Mm. Interesting. Leo, interesting. Anyway, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.